Oh, we live? We live. All right, man. Party people in the place to be. You know who it is, man. M-A-Z to the... You know we got another video for y'all today, man. Listen. Number one movie in the box office right now. We're talking about Black Widow. Got a special movie review for y'all today. I'm going to try to tell this review with no... No spoilers. No spoilers, okay? Um, I'm going to try my best not to, but um, if it happens, it happens. I apologize. So, I did not go to the movie theaters on this one. Did I make a mistake? Maybe. I don't know. But everybody's been telling me it felt good going back to the theaters and hearing the Marvel theme in the theaters again. Cap. <laughs> Listen, I'm guessing you saw this from the crib, too. <laughs> Absolutely, man. <laughs> Let's talk about this real quick, man. When it comes to the movie theaters versus the crib, I'm sorry, no, like, there's no argument here. Nah, fair. I mean, like, the only thing that makes me feel bad about it is yeah. that I actually, I actually worked at the movie theaters when mm -hmm. I was a kid, mm -hmm. so I did enjoy working and getting that whole vibe. Sure. And I'm sorry for the kids who, like, if, if, or rather, excuse me, when the theaters die, Damn. it's a wrap. You know what I mean? Like, it's. But but then again, I always wanted to work at Sam Goody's. Word. I can't no more. Can't no more. Nah, I feel you. Like, I, I've always wanted to work at a record shop. Because so I feel it, like. It happens. You know what I mean? It happens, you know? Fam, when I went and, and saw the best movie this year out, uh, Fast Nine. But what's real is family. <laughs> Man, listen, ain't nothing stronger than family. Word of Dom. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. No, I'm tired of these memes, man. Listen, that's another story from a different day. But uh, so so you saw Fast Nine in theaters, bro? Out the door, sixty ish bucks versus thirty at home. That's the thing, man. Like, of course we want to support. Well, I don't know if you want to support. If people want to support Hollywood and the movie business, sure, go check out the movies at your local theater. But then there's people like me who don't really like sitting with people that talk a lot kids that's out there running around in the theater and stuff like nah fam i'm gonna just go up the street go get wing it real quick chicken wing chicken wing get a five piece in a lemonade spicy lemon pepper with a pirate come right back to the crib sign up for disney plus finally swipe my 30 dollars for black widow kick back and that we watched a great film i enjoyed this movie a lot more dialogue than usual uh, how, how, how did you feel about it because at first i kind of i was like there was some slow parts in the film where i was kind of like eh, i'm, I'm kind of missing the action when it comes to the marvel films you know usually there's a lot of action especially when you think of black widow all the action was really up in the front of the film like if you ask me it, it got you right at the edge of your seat right away with everything that went on and then of course scarlett johansson she did her part i'm gonna miss her in the marvel universe man but uh i think she did a great job and the person that played uh yelena not for nothing but this new this new black widow listen man come on man come on man i like scarlet but like nah she she this next is very well cast nah she she next up man she next up it's crazy too because I, I was asking because my mom she had went to go see it in theaters and i was like so when the credits came on did anybody get up? She's like, absolutely not. They stayed, <laughs> they stayed in their seat and waited for the after credits. And of course, you know, for anybody that's in tune with the Marvel films, you know exactly. Don't go anywhere. Wait for the bonus scenes at the end. Yo, final argument for theaters must die. Guess what I did? You got up? Fast forward, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the f am I going to wait around for it? You can't do that at the movie you theater. Can, you, know, you make a case. You make a valid point. You can fast forward when you're at the crib. Like, you at the credits. All right, cool. Fast forward right to the end. See the bonus scene. All right, cool. I'm done. You know what I mean? We yeah. out of there. And sometimes, as you know, there's even another one after the long ass credits. Absolutely. And yeah, and of course, I fast forward. There wasn't one on this one. Yeah, spoiler nah. alert. But yeah, like, spoiler alert. I guess that that's the that's the pros of watching it from the crib, man. Hit the fast forward button. You ain't got to sit down and wait. You know what I mean? But, yeah, uh, bro. And for all them people like Star that want to go to the movie theaters and be all in the theaters and doing all that. Go ahead, bro. Have a blast. <laughs> I enjoyed this film. Would I go to the theaters to see it? You know what? I just might. And here's why. The movie theater that's around the corner from my crib is dead. Ain't nobody in there. So I could go in there and actually enjoy it. <laughs> How'd you feel about the Red Guardian? Real quick. Bro, I thought he was hilarious. I thought he was hilarious too. He definitely carried the movie. The comedy relief of the film, if you ask me. He just plays that father figure role, but like to the... <laughs> it's like to the... I don't want to say the bare minimum because it's like he's trying to play that part. But the role that... He really plays, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's strange, man, but 
He did a great job. Uh, the villain, on the other hand, Skrills, I'll let you. <laughs> I'll, I was gonna, I'll let you carry it from here. I'm gonna Listen, just kick man, back. Nah, look, all I want to say is that at first I was hyped. I was like, okay. Yeah, like okay. I was like, oh, he about that. Yes. Like, yeah. All right. Oh, how they gonna beat him? They know. He, they know his move. He gets busy. Yeah. And then at the end, again, no spoilers, but at the end, I was like, bro. Taskmaster, listen, man, I I was disappointed. The background right. of Taskmaster, exactly. he is, if I'm not mistaken, a former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent that went rogue. Am I correct? Right. So the person that they have playing Taskmaster, I'm like, hey, yo, what the f***? Huh? And, and I know they change things. I know Marvel changes things constantly. For sure. And we eventually are like, okay, cool, whatever. But like this one, I don't know. Yeah, I, I I didn't I didn't like this curveball. This is a curveball that I read, and I was kind of like, if if it's a curveball that I didn't see coming, that's what I want. But no, I read shit because I was like, wait, 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 wait. If that's not who it, then it has to be. And I just started doing the math, and I'm like, man. Other other than that, as far as the characters and how certain things played out, just to kind of conclude everything, my review, the final verdict of Black Widow. I give this about a three and a half chicken basket. So like chicken to the basket. So like when you go to order your, you know, five piece, they end up putting three and they put a nugget in there. And you're like, what's this random nugget in here? That's the last door. <laughs> That's the movie review for Black Widow. You know what I mean? I give it three and a half out of uh, out of five. Should you go watch it? Absolutely. I think you should go and watch it. Where does it fall chronologically in the storyline with the Marvel Universe? If I'm not mistaken, this looks, it looks like it comes after Civil War. Right, correct. So it's it's at that part. That part. So yeah, definitely, I would definitely recommend to go check this out. The action was great. Uh, Scarlet bodied it. The girl that played uh, Yelena, she bodied it. Uh, Red Guardian, super salute. I forgot the, the motherly person's name or what she really did, but I didn't care for her. She, yeah, me either. She was a little forgettable. Yeah, honest. she was forgettable. If you're a Marvel fan, Absolutely, just you're you're knee deep already. Like, <laughs> no, absolutely. Bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm, yo, it's, it's Marvel over DC all day. Shout out, Ooh, Rudy. You heard that? Ooh, we game banging over the net now. Snyder's whack. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, Rudy's not gonna settle for this. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's about to. He's getting the Superman ready to go, and he's gonna fly <laughs> over here, and he's gonna tear us a whole new one, man. <laughs> Nah, I only say Snyder's whack because he disappointed me in that zombie movie, but that's another another day. Oh, that oh he did do that, right? Yeah, he he let me down on that. But anyway, yeah, go ahead. Shout out to Rudy though, man. Um Absolutely. Black Widow, go check it out. What's what's on the next Marvel film? Loki finishes up, I think, this week. Yeah, this Loki week, finishes this, up, yeah. yeah this week. And how, then, how you like Loki so far? Bro, it's honestly it's the best Marvel series out so far. Over Falcon and Winter yes, Soldier? Yes. Yeah, bro. I personally think so. Just because of all the stuff they're talking about, they're actually yeah. setting the groundwork for everything that's gonna come now. Which reminds me, did you see the trailer for What If? That was dope. That is dope. I like that concept. Robert Downey Jr. isn't voicing Stark in it. Really? Everybody else is, you know, basically took up their own character again. Right. But except him, he didn't voice him. Wow. Robert Robert, what happened? They didn't cut the check. Nah, I think he's just over he, bro. He, he probably he probably is over it. I think he's over it too, man. Because I mean, there's people that get over stuff like that fast, man. So. But if he but if he trying to make movies like Doctor Doolittle, bro, like you'll miss me. With yeah, no, nah, I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> he had a polar bear with a cat. Stop the cat. <laughs> <laughs> man, listen, Black Widow, go check it out, man. If y'all haven't seen it, Marvel, y'all y'all did it again, or Disney, y'all took my money. I don't, I don't know which one to say, but either, either way, y'all greedy out here. Yeah, mouse in the house. <laughs> I see what you did. Oh, my God, the wordplay. Listen, man, we out of here. Vibes is real, man. Be sure to, uh, if y'all like more stuff like this, be sure to hit like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, man. We on the road to 100 subs, and that reminds me. Once we get to 100 subs, I'm doing a QA. and a I know it's early. It's early out the gate to do a QA, but I'm doing a QA, 100 subs. So be sure to submit your questions over at the OCD Creates on Instagram. Not only am I doing a QA, but I'm doing it with the hot sauces from Hot Ones. <laughs> and, you, and you know me, I don't do very well with hot sauces. You say you put it on wings? Doing this on nuggets. Y'all know how I get down, man. <laughs> Yo. On those, on those wings. Wings. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Wings. No, we doing it on nuggets. It's me. We where, where we at? I see the merch. Merch on the way too. But uh, yeah, that's it, man. Y'all know the vibes. Peace, man.
Maserati. So focused, I just need some meaning to my name. Plus, I'm cheating with these codes. If you think it's a game, no game, that's real talk. Man. This ain't no game to me. This ain't no game to me. This ain't no game.